These days, fans are still reeling from Tiffany Franco and Ronald Smith's messy breakup. But 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After was filmed months ago, when many things were different. Tiffany has been a fan favorite since she and Ronald's story first appeared on the show. But for some fans, what they're seeing on this season had soared their opinion considerably. On season 6, episode 6 of 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After, Tiffany received long-awaited good news. Her visa application for Ronald had been accepted. They are married, so this is a marital visa application, not the K-1 visa process from the main show. However, this is merely the acceptance of a visa application. In order for the visa to actually be granted, there will be additional hurdles, including Ronald's interview. Ronald will have to behave himself during that process, which may be a challenge for him. Additionally, Tiffany has to prove that she can financially support Ronald. As we have seen in other storylines on this and previous seasons, money can be a real barrier for a couple to be together. Tiffany will have to find a sponsor to co-sign her application because her income is not quite high enough on its own. Tiffany's mom was not going to do it. She made it very clear that she has real concerns about Ronald, his addiction and the future of the marriage. As she has said before, Tiffany's best hope for her future might not involve her husband despite the love that they share. So Tiffany turned to her father, who is one of Ronald's biggest fans. The mother of two knows that her dad's image of Ronald is based upon her perfect wedding day. He doesn't know about Ronald's gambling addiction, his relapses, Ronald's criminal history or the fights and ugly breakups. To her credit, Tiffany sat down with her father to share all of this. Of course, we haven't seen the full scene of their conversation, but Tiffany's plan is to disclose everything to her dad and hope that he is still willing to sponsor the application. For some viewers, this exchange was the final straw when it comes to how they view Tiffany. Tiffany planned to marry Ronald and for him to apply for a visa, a Reddit user wrote while calling Tiffany a POS. She didn't plan ahead as to her income and whether she could sponsor him. In the meantime, she brings her son to South Africa and introduces him to his new daddy. Then she spreads her legs and gets pregnant again, blames Ronald for his past and jerks her now two kids back to America. Now she is manipulating her father with his guilt to help her bring Ronald to the States, where he will have to be financially responsible for a gambling-addicted loser. Before we get into some of the earliest parts of the description, this is clearly not a fan of Tiffany's. And anyone who uses sex-shaming language like spreads her legs is unlikely to view any human woman positively. But now that we have acknowledged that, is Tiffany otherwise as this raging Redditor describes? Tiffany did acknowledge that her father is currently trying to make up for lost time. He exited her life when she was just a few years old and was not really part of it until she was already an adult and a mother. It's unclear if her going to him is using his guilt, especially when she is being fully transparent about Ronald's history with him. Did Tiffany really not consider the financial aspects of a visa application until now? Well, it's possible, but realistically, of course not. 90 Day Fiancé is a reality series, the people and their stories are real. That doesn't mean that every scene is authentic. The show is not scripted, but production will ask people to bring up specific subjects and sometimes to repeat things. That's the reality of filming, especially out in the world. You can't control when a fire truck drives by a mid-conversation. But producers also want to get multiple takes to give editors the best phrasing, emphasis and emotion to work with. There are a few conversation topics that are almost always indicators that production is behind it. One is when a 90 Day Fiancé star asks for or otherwise discusses money, from a loan request to surgery prices. The other is when a star's friends and family voice suspicions about the motives of one of the stars. That said, the show isn't scripted, but production can ask all of the questions that they like. Editors then remove most of those questions, leaving only the answers. So it appears that someone on TV is bringing up the same subject again and again and again all by themselves. But even then, it's impossible to say that Tiffany and some other stars are only hated because of the show's meddling. There are underlying elements, like obviously a heaping pile of misogyny. That is enough to turn simple editing into damning footage for some viewers. Some people already despise Tiffany, for what, having sex with Ronald, for not raising her children in South Africa. 
From that point, anything that she says or does can only compound criticisms already felt by some fans. Tiffany has obviously made mistakes, but it would be very weird if this villain label catches on. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.